this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm in the beautiful and spectacular country of Egypt here in the Middle East and I'm visiting the second largest city here in Egypt. I'm visiting the fascinating city and the very historic city of Alexandria. In this particular documentary we're going to walk along the magnificent and very famous waterfront of Alexandria. Now Alexandria is a city that was established by Alexander the Great in 331 before Christ and this has been the waterfront since then. So let's go for a long walk. I will tell you what I liked about this waterfront and I will really tell you what I definitely dislike. Let's do it. And uh, here is a general view of the harbor of Alexandria. This is the eastern harbor. This is the ancient harbor of Alexandria. It is a huge loop of about six kilometers in length to go from one tip of the harbor, which is right there right behind that person as the sun is setting to the point where I am right now I'm at the eastern tip of the eastern harbor of Alexandria as a matter of fact if you look at the map I'm right next to the new library of Alexandria Bibliotheca Alexandrina which is to my left so I'm standing at the eastern tip of the harbor In this particular documentary we're going to walk all around this six kilometer loop. We're going to visit most of the historic sites. As a matter of fact we're going to go all the way to the western tip somewhere down there to visit the historic fort of Quiet Bay. We're going to videotape several scenes from around the harbor including a beautiful sunset the maddening traffic and noise but overall we're going to have a great time within the next two or three days walking around and trying to imagine what life was like after this city was established in 331 before Christ by Alexander and how prominent this harbor became for the Romans after Octavian took over Egypt in 30 before Christ and established Alexandria as one of the main cities of the Roman Empire. Okay, let's start our tour of the magnificent Corniche of the waterfront of the beautiful city of Alexandria here in Egypt. We're going to start from the Saad Zaglul Square that you see here. The Corniche is right behind me, so it's a very busy highway with lots of traffic as you can hear. Zaglul was a nationalist. He was born in 1860, died in 1927. And he was imprisoned by the British and expelled to Malta in 1919. He did not achieve the independence he was seeking of Egypt. He had to wait, rather Egypt had to wait for another generation for independence. This is a beautiful square indeed. That's the Corniche on the left side and this square was once surrounded by absolutely beautiful early 20th century hotels not much remains right now except for lots of traffic lots of noise and some fast food restaurants as well so let's go for a walk let's walk along the corniche, along the corniche. Let's enjoy the views and let's enjoy the beautiful weather of Alexandria here in Egypt. Come on. 
You know, when I first made plans to come here to Alexandria and walk along the Corniche, I had uh, quite uh, a different set of expectations. I thought the Corniche or the waterfront would look something like uh, Brighton in England or Nice in South France. It's nothing like that really and there are a couple of aspects about this Corniche, this waterfront that are very very disappointing. walking along the Corniche here in Alexandria I can't help but noticing the beautiful and fascinating architecture of the buildings look at these here they are from a bygone era some of them are from the Art Deco era of the 1920s and 30s some of them go back to the beginning of the 20th century. So at one point in time, this must have been an absolutely spectacular waterfront from an architectural perspective. All the buildings now look neglected. And left to their own fortune, like this one over here. First and foremost is the incredible, and I mean the absolutely incredible level of noise, of noise pollution that is. Every car that drives up and down the Corniche or the waterfront has to beep. You can hear the drivers beeping right now as they drive to my left along the Corniche. And you're gonna get a headache here within five or ten minutes when you walk up the Corniche. You cannot relax. The noise is so loud, so frequent, so annoying. You just cannot relax and enjoy the views of the waterfront here at Alexandria. And that's a very, very disappointing factor indeed. As a matter of fact, if you walk up the Corniche, and you know, up and down the Corniche for let's say about a kilometer or so, you're gonna get a headache. Especially in the middle of the day when the traffic is at, at the highest peak. That's how bad it is, that's how annoying it is, and that's how disappointing it is. And uh, right here, right in front of the Corniche, we find the monument to the unknown soldier beautifully built in neoclassical style right there this is a very very busy part of the Corniche indeed and that's because there's a minivan bus station right behind me and uh, it doesn't really matter what time you get here it is always busy chaotic and very very unpleasant to be here so let's just get a view of this monument here and let's continue our walk this is one of the most polluted sites of the city from noise and from fumes as well here's the last view of the monument to the unknown soldier and let's get out of here And uh, the second disappointing factor, let me see if I can put that uh, in a way that is politically correct. It has to do with how clean the Corniche is. You see there is a wall, you can see the wall behind me that separates the walkway from the water to my right. 
Now, the walkway here is nothing but clean. It hasn't been cleaned in God knows how long, and it's full of rubbish. Now, if you look to my right over the wall where the water is, you're going to see thousands of pieces of plastic and plastic bottles floating in the water. There's also rubbish right over the wall, all over. If you walk down the Corniche for about three or four kilometers and you look over the wall, you're going to see nothing else but rubbish. And let me, put, let me be politically correct about the color of the water. Let's put it this way, it is not blue. And uh, if you come here, you shouldn't swim here at all. It is extremely polluted and it's very disappointing. Disappointing indeed. So if you combine the level of noise, the level of pollution from all these cars going up and down and how dirty the walkway is and especially the waterfront when you look over the wall and you see all this plastic floating all over. Well, this is no nice. It is very disappointing indeed. Very disappointing. And uh, here's the view at uh, sunset time of the Corniche. You're going to see the sun setting right behind Fort Quiet Bay, right there in the far distance, at the tip of the Corniche, the western tip. Fort Pied Bay, of course, was built right on the spot where the ancient Pharos of Alexandria was built in the 3rd century before Christ. And uh, here's another view of the harbor of Alexandria on a brilliant morning. Our target today is to walk all around and to reach White Bay Fort right there in the distance. It is a distance of about four kilometers from where I am right now and on the way there we're going to pass quite a few interesting and historic sites. I'm walking towards Fort Quiet Bay. On my right, I'm passing a beach area. You have to pay to go onto the beach. You can see the chairs right there lined up. Now, the water is extremely polluted at this point, it is almost black from the pollution. I don't see how anybody would pay to go in here and go swimming. I just saw two people swimming. So if you come to Alexandria, it's best to avoid this area for swimming. And uh, next to that uh, beach, we find a smaller beach. You see it right here with a slide for children. And if we walk down this way, I'm still walking towards the fort. We finally find somebody cleaning up part of the beach. But it will take a lot of effort to clean up all this trash that you see here. This poor guy has a lot of work to do, but he will need more than just this bag that he has. Well, that's the fort right there. I'm about a kilometer away. Here's the fishing harbor. You can see the colorful boats all over. We may be able to get closer. 
and here on this side you see a lot of uh, chairs and umbrellas for people to sit I'm not really sure what they're going to enjoy because the water as I have said so many times is so polluted and so full of rubbish anybody sitting over here cannot possibly enjoy their stay in any case let's move towards the fort and let's see what else we're going to encounter the uh, fishing harbor right there in front of us and uh, here we find more seats and umbrellas as you can see here and that's the fort down there so let's uh, keep walking it is getting hotter and hotter it is about 36 degrees Celsius right now And uh, here's another view of the fishing harbor on the lower left corner you can see uh, fishermen repairing their nets and uh, here are some uh, forgotten Egyptian fishing boats in one of the corners of the fishing harbor And that's the way I have walked towards this point. <laughs> and uh, just in case you come here to Alexandria and you have an urgent need to go to the beach and to do some diving here's the absolutely ideal place for you which is on the Corniche and just before the fishing harbor here and uh, here's our very last view of the Corniche or of the waterfront here in Alexandria over the last four days we walked from one end to the other here in this very historic city we saw several aspects of the waterfront it could have been and it should have been one of the most wonderful if not the most wonderful waterfronts in the world but unfortunately it is not you saw several pictures as a testimony to that this is Vic thank you for joining me all the way from Alexandria it is time to move on to other destinations around the world this was the Corniche or the waterfront of the ancient harbor of Alexandria here in Egypt. Bye-bye.